gonna look at swimming prep. So come to lie on your tummy and we're gonna take our hands nice and wide. So it's almost like they're in the corners, top corners of your mat and your palms are facing each other. So let your nose just hover off the floor, give your head a bit of a shake, but keep that nose lifted for me. We're gonna start with the legs. So you're gonna press that pubic bone into the floor, reach the legs long to give us that support. And I want you to imagine where your hip is, where your bum joins your leg. And all you're gonna do is reach that one leg so far away from you, you can lift from your hip. And then pop it back down again. We go from the other side. So you're keeping the leg reaching away, which will encourage the knee to stay straight as we keep going. But you're trying to feel like the leg is coming right from where the pelvis and the leg join each other, and that's where you're moving from. So you'll feel a little bit more of your glute max kick in as you lift that leg. And nothing's changing in your face, in your arms. You're just allowing those hips to move in their socket and that pubic bone to give you your press. So pause after this one, and then we're gonna just find some arms. So keep that press into your pubic bone. I want you to press down into your arms and almost feel them slide towards you for you to come up into a little bit of extension. And then reach the arms away from you, slide them back for you to come back down again. So we'll do that again. So press into your hands, feel them come towards your mat as you start to extend and just stay here for me. You should be able to breathe up here. So from there, press down into one hand to just see if the other hand can just float off and then take it back down again. Do the same on the other side. So press into one hand to let the other just float off and come back down again. So keep alternating. Now what I want you to hopefully feel is that there's a little bit more pressure in one side of your pelvis than the other as you do this movement. So if you think about your four point kneeling, your quadruped, for you to move one arm and one leg, the other side has to be a bit heavier. So there's a little bit of rotation happening here. So this is what we want you to find when you come into full swimming. So just practice this for me. We've not got too much extension here, but you're using that press down into one side to lift the other. You should still be able to breathe. The legs are your anchor here. And you're just feeling how one side of your body is responding a little bit more there's that little bit of rotation. We'll go last one. And then just slide the hands away. Let yourself go. You can put your hands underneath your forehead. Give your bum a little bit of a rock. Press it back into child's pose if you want. And well done. Thank you for joining me on your swimming practice.